your seat in the upright position. If you haven't already fastened your seatbelt, insert the metal fitting into the buckle and pull the strap so it's tight across your hips. To open your seatbelt, lift the top of the buckle. Keep your seatbelt fastened when the seatbelt sign is on. And just in case there's turbulence, keep it on whenever you are in your seat. U.S. law requires compliance with lighted and posted signs and crew instructions. All flights are non-smoking. It's against the law to tamper with, disable, or destroy the lavatory smoke detectors. The safety card in your seat pocket explains the safety features of this airplane, including the location and operation of exits and flotation devices. This airplane has two exit doors in the front, two exit doors forward of the wings, two exit doors behind the wings, and two exit doors in the back. All exits have evacuation slides to use in an emergency. When directed to exit, jump onto the slide and move away from the airplane. In a water evacuation, the exit door slides in the front and the back of the airplane can be detached and used for flotation. All exits are clearly marked with signs and opening instructions. If needed, exit path lighting in the aisle will illuminate near the floor to guide you to an exit indicated by signs and lights. Keep in mind, the closest exit may be behind you. In the event of an emergency, leave all belongings and proceed to the closest usable exit. If needed, oxygen masks will drop from an overhead compartment. Remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and pull the mask down to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and put the elastic band over your head. Pull the straps to tighten and breathe normally. Put on your mask before helping others. Oxygen is flowing even if the bag doesn't inflate. In a water evacuation, you can use your seat cushion for flotation. Pull up to remove the cushion and take it to the closest user for attention and enjoy your 47 minute flight to Phoenix.